よっしゃおーっしゃおーっしゃおーおーおーっしゃおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおー For you must master these deadly arts if you are to survive a fight in Samurai Showdown for the Nintendo Switch. Set in Japan during the feudal era, a mysterious force has started a plague of violence that has swept across the whole land, and it's up to you to find the source of this evil and stop it. It's a relatively simple story that allows you to play as any character in the story mode. The main draw of this game is basically a vicious fighting game centered around Samurai. Choose your warrior, choose your stage, and see who can slice up who first. This series originally made its debut in arcades in 1993. It released a string of sequels that were way more popular in Japan than in the States. After its anthology game released in 2009, the series just stayed dormant. Until this game was released on the Switch last year in Japan. Sure, you can play the Japanese version since region lockout is a thing of the past, but Western fans of these will have good reason to celebrate its recent American release. While the graphics here aren't as polished as the PS4 version, they're still pretty good. The characters are well animated to modern standards, and the stages have that Japanese painting art style which adds some great personality. Most importantly, though, the game runs at a smooth frame rate. Anytime it does stop, you can tell it's a stylistic choice from a big attack rather than a simple case of lag. You're probably gonna hear me call this an interactive anime a lot because that's just how it feels, especially in the sound department. The voice acting is all in Japanese with subtitles of whatever language you choose. Even the parts in the menu that are said in English are read with that thick Japanese accent. It's how you know they wanted the presentation to come out a certain way. The music is that old school Japanese style, and those sound effects are straight out of any anime you've seen with a lot of sword wielding characters. If this is your first time with the series, you'll want to head to the tutorial first, because there are a lot of intricate moves here to master, though you can still master basic attacks pretty quickly. In many ways, the game closely resembles real sword based combat. As there is less emphasis on button mashing or stringing combos together, and more focus on timing your attacks and reactions. Get great timing, and you can deal some heavy damage. Have bad timing, and you'll end up a bloody mess in seconds. It takes quite a bit of time to master dodging, blocking, countering, and special attacks, so more hardcore fighting game fans will enjoy this deep combat system. And its flashy anime style mixed with Kill Bill levels of over the top blood only make for an even more thrilling experience. Certain moves are pulled off by pressing more than one button at once, but luckily there are some shortcuts included here too. Simply pressing R will have you dodge, and pressing ZL will trigger your rage gauge. Now, what exactly is this? Well, it's like other devastating attacks in games like Mortal Kombat 11 or Power Rangers. As you take hits, your gauge increases. Once it's full, you can trigger it for an attack so powerful you could potentially end your opponent's life instantly. You are terminated. But the balancing factor, which also makes it a gamble, is that the attack can still be blocked, and whether the attack misses or lands, you can't use your rage attack for the rest of the match. So, this again makes for some strategic gameplay and discourages button mashing. This game has a pretty standard assortment of modes. The story mode does have some cutscenes, but it's really more of a glorified arcade mode. Pick your character, see the opening backstory, then proceed to fight people without much rhyme or reason. All you really get out of this is unlocking mediocre cutscenes. It's not fleshed out like MK11's story single player. But I will say the final boss is a tough challenge. Ow, 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 and I'm dead again. Oh well, back to the versus mode. It's the mode you're gonna end up playing the most, as you can play against a friend or a bot. There's also other battle modes where you play against bots, such as fighting every single character or fighting an endless wave to see how long you can survive. Additionally, as expected, there's online multiplayer. You can play at ranked battles or casual battles, but when I looked for a casual match, I never found anyone to play with. I only found people in the ranked lobbies, which alone is a testament to this game's appeal to hardcore fighting game fans. Well, at least I didn't experience any lag. The other online mode is the dojo, where you fight ghosts of other players. These ghosts develop a fighting style as you play. It's all based on your attack and defense patterns and signature moves. This sounds great on paper, but in practice, the ghosts are significantly dumber than even normal or easy level AI bots. So it seems like more work is required in order for this to actually be a good mode to include. At $50, Samurai Showdown is a little pricey for what it offers, but for all intents and purposes, it is a solid fighting game. It's another game that makes the Switch the go to platform for fighting games. So if you love fighting games and you can find this on sale for $30 or $40, then I suggest you add this to your collection of Switch fighting games. Well, that's my review of Samurai Showdown for the Switch. If you like this review, check out my previous reviews of these other Nintendo Switch fighting games Power Rangers Battle for the Grid and Mortal Kombat 11. See you all next time. <laughs> Come, 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 come